how to actually get a job in the funeral profession. And it's actually not what you would think. Throw out those resumes. For the longest time in the funeral profession, you're buried. You're not buried. Well, you are buried. You were born into it. You're married into it. It's something that has been the most nepotistic, if that's the right word, business profession ever. I'm Nathan, musician, mortician. Spent 13 years in the funeral profession. Be sure to subscribe and follow and click the bell to be notified when I release content like this. I'm going to give you right now a step-by-step -step guide on how to get a job in the funeral profession. And this is real. This really works. How do I know? Because I have been owner of 12 locations and I have since answered many a calls of people, eager-minded little beavers wanting to get a job. And this is how simple it is. Really, it is. Get a pen and paper. Actually, you don't even need that. This is what you do. Step one, resume. Mm. Yeah, of course, it's more of a formality. Keep it on the side over here because I'll tell you right now, people in the funeral profession, owners of funeral homes, large in part, and I will be hexed by saying this, it's one of those professions where you don't really have to be a business person to be a successful business. And what I mean by that is people always die. People have died forever and always. It's the only thing that you and I have in common is that we are born and we will die. Yeah, that's fact. And funeral home owners, they probably have inherited the funeral home, like I've said, nepotism and all, and they just do an incredible job. And there's something to say about that. People who die to themselves every day and choose you and yours over them and theirs is something to be admired. These funeral home owners, however, they don't know much about business. They just know that if I do a great job here, I get paid during arrangements, then everything cash flows people keep coming back. Business. Yay. And honestly, there's something pretty innocent and lovely about that. It, it, it kind of removes the, the business, the feel of, from the service. And that is the fine line. But funeral home owners, because they are not business savvy, they don't know anything about resumes or care to, to be quite honest. They're so focused. Number one, outside of not sending your resume out the gate, don't do that. Do not call. Do not call a funeral home and say, hey, it's Angie. I just graduated mortuary school and I am looking for a place to serve my apprenticeship. Are you hiring? Hey, Angie, thanks for calling. No. Do you know why they answer it that way? Because yes, they need help, but they are so busy and focused on taking care of the family that is currently in the four walls of that facility that they're not thinking clearly. They're busy. They're in a rush always in a rush. I have never met another professional always in a hurry. It's always, they're always busy getting to the next thing, uh, me included. I was always so busy. Do not call. They're going to tell you they don't need help and they do need help. That's actually admirable too. I want to focus on that. The reason they're telling you that is because they're so focused on taking care of someone else. But you know what you do instead? Go to the funeral home. Walk in the funeral home. Go to the funeral home, go to the front desk, go to the first worker you see and say, hey, I'm Angie. I just graduated mortuary school. I love this place. I've heard so many great things about this place. You actually insert personal experience. Do not walk into the funeral home and say, hi, it's Angie. I just graduated mortuary school and I need to serve my apprenticeship. Can I work here? That is self-serving. You go into their house and you say, wow, this place is absolutely incredible. I've always been drawn to this place. Let's say they buried your great aunt Marge. You did such a great job burying my great aunt Marge. And they're going to be like, yes, we did. I would love a tour. Give me a tour. Show me around real quick. Ask a question about a painting on the wall. Ask about the grandfather clock. Of course they have a grandfather clock. Ask for a tour. What you've done is you've made it about them and shown interest. You've also said, great job. You complimented them. And if you're genuine about it, that's what I say. Do. Do that. Let them give you the tour. Talk a little bit about how you did just graduate mortuary school. Of course, they're going to be like, yeah, what a... They're not going to say you're an idiot, but you're green. You don't know anything. But don't listen to that part. Just keep asking the questions. And at the very, very end, here's number three. This is easy. I want to work here. I want to help. I want to learn all I can. I will stand door. I'll run flowers. I'll drive a car. I'll work for free. You let me know when you need help. What can I do to get a job starting now? I will be the best employee you've ever had. They're going to be befuddled. They're going to be like, what? Because they just answered the phone 
two times earlier today because the mortuary school down the road just had a graduate group go through and every one of them are just going down the Rolodex and saying, hey, I'm going to call this person, this person. You are the only person that is going into that funeral home and you're the only person asking for a job, not are you hiring? Okay, bye. That is so defeatist. Go ask for the job after the tour. Tell them you'll work for free. Of course, they're not going to let you work for free. They will give you a shot. And then you remember how I said at the very beginning, don't the resume thing? At that point, they'll be like, hey, do you have a resume? Of course you have a resume. And your resume, you're young. Arguably, you probably have just worked at Hardee's and delivered newspapers. Your resume isn't going to be anything spectacular. Wow. Just make sure you run it through spell check. If there's misspellings, you're going to have it. That's what I would do anyway. Also, when you go for that tour, dress in clothing that would be similar to that of what you'd wear during a visitation if you were standing door at the visitation itself. I'm telling you, the funeral home will raise their eyebrows at you. They will. And do the research before you go in. Think of the funeral home right now that is in your community, because there's probably 17 of them, and think of the one or two that you had a personal experience at, and even if you've had two experiences at either, maybe even to hone it in more, think of the one that you felt more drawn to, because those are people too, and we're not going to connect with everyone. We're not going to like everyone. It's okay. We're not going to be liked by everyone. That's okay. But go to the one that you feel most drawn to. Tell them how incredible they are. Then tell them why you're there after the tour. Ask for a job. Tell them you'll work for free. Wear the clothes that are similar to that of what you'd wear during a visitation so they could see what you would look like in that setting. Speak articulately. Have that resume in your Gmail account. Send it on over later. Do a follow-up, not by phone, by going by. Yes, I assure you, your chances just skyrocket. I promise you that. And then you can come back to this video after you subscribe to click the bell to be notified. You can leave a comment and say, Nathan, wow, you were right. It works. I've answered the phone numerous times. I've even fallen victim to being the guy that's like, oh, we're too busy. We needed help. We needed tons of help, in fact. Help! <laughs> so, yeah. We did. We needed it. But I was so focused on taking care of the family in that moment and all of the things that I needed to be taken care of in that moment that I totally disregarded the individual. And to the, all the individuals that I may or may not have done that to, that have called and I've spoken to on the phone, I apologize. You put yourself out there verbally. Actually, take it a step further. Follow the steps I just said in this video. If you need to go and watch it back again, watch it back. It is real. And I'm telling you, I did it. I did what I'm telling you to do. That's how I started in the profession. Sat in the office of the owner for four hours and said, I will not leave this office until you give me a shot. I will be the best damn employee you've ever had. I offered to run flowers and work visitation. I offered those things and they gave me a shot. What are they going to do? What's the worst that could happen for you? It worked for me. I know it will work for you. Let me know in the comments below after you do this, what the outcome is. I will be watching back very frequently to see. I wish you the best in your endeavors. And also do know that there are tens of thousands of funeral homes across the United States alone. Now you probably want to be serving close to home and that's great. But the great thing about it is there's a hundred funeral homes within a hundred miles of you. Go to the one first that you feel drawn to. All right, be sure to subscribe. Be sure to click the bell to be notified and stick around and come back to this video often because we're going to watch all of these recent mortuary science graduates, even if you aren't in a mortuary science program and you just want to stand door and be an attendant, this will work. And then we're going to watch this in the comments. Blossom. I appreciate you. You are love far more than you can ever know. Good luck. It'll work. Brand new merch just dropped. You can see it right here. You could also check in the description. Click the link there. You could also click in the link and join the exclusive Triers Club. Exclusive first looks, first listens, first watches, all the firsts, unreleased demos. We are building a community, something incredible. All Triers members have firsts for all. Check it out. Also discounts on the brand new merch I'm just talking about. Brand new hoodies, holy shirts and pants, sweatpants, not pants, pants. Name that movie. I would be honored for you to check it out. Diapers are expensive. Life is expensive. Your time is invaluable. I'm grateful that you've watched this far. I'm also grateful for you. All right. Next time I see you, wear those nice little snuggly hoodies.